What's up guys, Matthew Monas here, and it looks like Apple is set to ax the iPhone 10, at least according to trusted analyst and Apple insider Ming Chi Kuo. He says that Apple is gonna cancel production of the iPhone 10 by the summer of 2018. That's crazy to think about. Apple has never canceled an iPhone in its first year since the iPhone 5C. Now I understand the iPhone 5C, but I don't understand the iPhone 10. This is supposed to be a phone that completely revolutionizes and changes the design of the iPhone for the next few years. He also says that the Asian market, specifically in China, they're just not buying the iPhone 10. They don't feel they're getting any value out of it. They prefer bigger phones and the notch takes up space and the new aspect ratio doesn't provide as much screen real estate. In fact, you get more screen real estate on the iPhone 8 Plus with its smaller 5.5 inch display. I mean, this all makes sense. I remember the first time I ordered the iPhone, I got it right away, I ordered it on launch day, it came exactly within two weeks. And then I did my whole, I returned the iPhone video, which I did, and rebought it again for a smaller 64 gigabyte model. Now here's the funny thing, that 64 gigabyte model when I ordered it, had a shipping date of four weeks. Then two or three days later, that shipping date got reduced to a week. That automatically tells me there's just not enough people buying the smartphone the demand is not as high. Look, Ming also goes on to say this is the downfall of Apple. I don't think that's true, that's a little extreme. Apple's not going anywhere anytime soon, but I don't look at Apple the same today as I did two to three years ago. I don't hold them up with that high regard. I think they're kind of hanging on with the thread, releasing the features they need to release and not really showing any passion and love in the products they produce today compared to four or five years ago. I mean, you're paying a thousand dollars for a smartphone, which is pretty much the the same in terms of features as the iPhone 8 Plus. Apple hasn't been honest with us. They lied to us about the whole iPhone 6 and 6S slowing down after a year or two because they throttled the battery. I get why they did it, it's a smart move, but they lied to us, they weren't transparent to us, and they should have been. Also the fact that you can run an emojis on the iPhone 8 Plus, but they refuse to turn it on because it's exclusive to the iPhone 10. Also, consumers are getting a lot smarter. You can buy a $500 smartphone today that offers 90% or almost 100% of the features that the iPhone 10 has. I'm not upset, I don't hate Apple, I have Apple products, I just don't like the fact that Apple doesn't have the passion they did before. And I think the iPhone 10 shows that, especially with its brand new price tag. I wanna hear your thoughts on the iPhone 10. Do you have one, and if you do, do you like your phone, or do you regret buying something else? And if you don't have an iPhone, what do you think of the iPhone 10 in general? Now, Apple is gonna release three new iPhones, at least according to Ming-Chi, in the summer or end of 2018, which is is gonna have a 5.8 inch display like this one, a 6.1 inch display like the iPhone SE, and a bigger model that has a 6.5 inch display. The design's gonna be very similar with a few tweaks, maybe reduced bezels, and of course, a slightly smaller notch to look at. So that wraps up this video about Apple canceling the iPhone 10. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.